Hi everyone and welcome back to Salesforce FAQs. So today in this video we are going to explore an essential Salesforce feature that is how to relate contacts to multiple accounts. And this is useful for the scenarios where a single contact is affiliated with more than one organization. So let's start. So let's start. So first let me tell you what we are going to learn in this video. So for enabling contacts for multiple accounts, we are going to first set up the contacts for the multiple accounts. And also I will show you how to disable role of activities for the contacts primary account. Because when you enable the contact for the multiple account, then the role of activities of that contact will be visible on the primary account. So to avoid showing the activities of the contact on the primary account, we will disable the role of activities of contacts. So there are many scenarios when there is a requirement of relating one contact to multiple accounts. For example, if a person works with multiple companies or has different role across organizations, then by relating contacts to the multiple account, we can create flexible relationships between a single contact and multiple accounts while maintaining a primary account. So let's get started and see the process. So as of now, I logged into my Salesforce developer account. And right now I am on the setup page of Salesforce Lightning. And from here we will navigate to the account setting. For that you have to go to the quick find box and here search and select account settings. And under the heading feature setting, you can see account settings, you have to click on it. And now in the setup window of account settings, you have to click on the edit button. And here you can see the general and other settings of the account object. So to enable the context to relate to the multiple accounts, you have to select the checkbox to allow users to relate a contact to multiple accounts. So after selecting this checkbox, we will be able to relate a contact to the multiple accounts. And here you can see two options that when a user delete an account that has direct contacts that are related to other accounts. So it means if account is having a context and those contacts are also related to the other accounts. So in this case, you have two options that either block the user from deleting the account or you can allow the user to delete the account and and with this option you are allowing the user to delete all the direct contacts and even if they are related to the other accounts and uh, one more setting is there when user replace the primary account to the contact record so there are two options that either you can save the relationship between the contacts and the previous primary account as an indirect relationship and the other option is delete the relationship between the contact and the previous primary account so here I have selected the option as block the user from deleting the account if the related context is related with other accounts also. And after applying these settings, you have to click on the save button. And after this, we are going to disable the rollup activities of context to display on the primary account. So for that, again, we will go to the quick find box and here we will search and select activities. So here you have to select activity settings. So here you can see the checkbox roll up activities to a contacts primary account. So you have to uncheck this field and then click on the submit button. And after applying this setting, we need to add the related contacts related list to the account page layouts. So for that, we will go to the object manager tab. And then we will select the account object. And now we will go to the page layouts of the account object. So here we have to select the default page layout of the account object and here you have to scroll to the related list and from the related list we will drag and drop the related contacts field to the related list like this and after adding the related contacts to the page layout we will click on the save button and here you will see the warning so here click yes to proceed and also we can add a direct field to the related contacts related list for that you have to click on this wrench icon on the related list and here you will see the direct field is there so here it is so here you have to select the direct field and with the help of arrows we will move it to the selected fields section and then click on the ok button and because the related contacts related list includes all the direct contacts you can you can remove the contact related list on your account page layouts but from this uh, icon that is remove related list and after applying all this setting we will click on the save button so after applying all these settings we have finally enabled the context to relate with the multiple accounts so here i will navigate to the context tab from the app launcher and here i will select any contact record 
so and here you will see the related accounts option is there so i will click on it and here you will see the button add relationship so i will click on it and now here you will see the option to select the account so here i will select another account and after this i will select the roles and the contacts will be the one that we have selected right now and then we will click on the save button so you can see the so as you can see that we have selected two related accounts for a single contact record so this is how you can enable and set up contacts to the multiple accounts in salesforce and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye